Well, how y'all doing? This is a uh, military industrial museum uh, YouTube channel, right? Okay. Well, today I just got my uh, shipment in from FedEx Ground. Uh, <clears throat> it's a G43 slash G generator, if I'm not mistaken. We've got so much uh, material, sometimes it gets a little mixed up up in the old index card upstairs. Um, so I needed this uh, for my GRC 109 and it's a uh, Easter egg hunt trying to find and track down some of this gear. Sometimes you have to wait months or years to uh, obtain uh, bits and pieces. Sometimes you get lucky and you get it all at once. Now this is an extraordinary situation. Uh, I noticed the taping, the packing tape, part of the fun of getting packages from all over the world is uh, you get some s different looking, different sounding and different seeing type deals. Uh, in this case, if you take a closer look at the uh, shipping uh, uh, or packing tape, it's agri-processors incorporated to be handled by a rabbi only. And then, and then there's a rabbinical kosher seal so this thing that's why I've titled this video this is my uh, kosher G43 slash G generator uh, as you can see I covered over the shipping label so we won't have any violations of privacy and all that but uh, as you can see this thing is pretty well sealed up by this tape and uh, now I have the uh, foundry of maybe uh, violating some metaphysical law because I'm not a uh, rabbi and uh, but I gotta break the seals to get in the box so this is definitely a new situation I've I've uh, got myself into so uh, but in truth maybe Somebody was just being uh, funny, or uh, being really uh, uh, conservative, and trying to be. Maybe they got a bunch of tape up for uh, shipping not, uh, for a good deal, and they just had that on there. Maybe that company went out of business. You never know. So I, I think in this situation, I think due to the fact it's not food, and I'm not. Uh, or, or, or anything that has to do with that process I think we'll be okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this sucker um, let's see uh, hold on here getting the old military Gerber out you know, one-handed you know I'm gonna try to open this one-handed while holding the camera because you never know when you're gonna get your hand blown off when you're in the military it's true or crushed or sliced off or whatever so we'll see where I only have my right hand available Let's see if I can do it ah! <laughs> hopefully you didn't see that okay I ruined the whole video alright now okay we got we got this up here now I recommend we open boxes using uh, some other thing other than the blade because keep using the blade it'll dull it up and uh, of course you should not have sharpened your blade something I need to work on myself but try to prolong your blade as long as possible so here we go we're gonna open this hopefully hopefully it's not open in like uh, you know an Indiana Jones the uh, Ark of the Covenant there because I oh, anyway Oh, we got a shipping label on my phone. Oh, all this. So anyway, here here's what I ordered. Uh, G43. Hey, G, okay. G hand cranked, right? Um, let's see. That's what I paid for it. Paid for it. Uh, if you want to find out what, 
who sold it. There you go. So anyway, let's get into the guts here. Comes with a bag. It's a good thing. Usually, usually you get bits and pieces and things, and you gotta get bags separate and all that funny, fun, fun. So, so aside for the little fun, fun tape, which is purely functional, I just I was taking it back a little bit. Never seen that before. Let's see. But if it works, it works, right? It certainly has got got here safe and sound. So here we go, the G43 uh, A G whatever. Anyway, here we are, the BG uh, 175. It's probably Brigade 175. I'm guessing. Or maybe it's Brigade Generator. Maybe it's Battalion Generator. <laughs> you don't know. It's a problem with. Uh, uh, using shorthand for everything and then uh, uh, pretty soon nobody knows what anything means so here we are this thing is actually pretty big reminds me of a of a, of a some kind of meter box or something for electricity. Well, uh, you know, I guess it is. I guess when he packed the thing, he didn't pack the uh, the, uh, the handles very good because it obviously got some metal on metal scrapage. All that. Well, it is what it is. So these are the cranks, right? And these plug in to the sides, on each side. Hey, you can crank and get your uh, electrical power. We'll take a look at the plug right quick. Only got a little over two minutes left on this video because I got a 10 minute limit on this camera. I bought a new camera, but I haven't. It's the battery's charging on. It's not implemented yet. That one's the HD uh, 1080p. So basically upgrading here. So this came from Santa Barbara. Um, it's been overhauled. Okay, so that's a plug. Now, eventually, I'll get my my radio setup going, and we'll, we'll put it through a uh, test cruise. Right? We'll leave that off for now. I don't waste time on the video I'm trying to wind that up. So here's the rear of the gear. Here's the underside. Now what I'm lacking is the uh, tripod for this thing. It's a seated tripod. You sit on there and crank on it. I still got to dig one of those up. They got a couple on eBay, but I'm not sure if it's the right model. What I'm looking for is the one with the uh, fluted seat where it has um, you know, cutouts on the on the metal. It's like a grate. I guess it lightens in and everything. That's what I saw in like uh, Vietnam photos and things. And some videos. What they were hauling around. So... And that's what you see in the tech manual for this. This thing didn't come with a tech manual. I have to uh, print one up myself. Usually get those on uh, digital PDFs off online, and then take them to the print shop, print them up. Or sometimes you get lucky, you find an original. But a lot of times they're big bucks. And uh, whoops, there's some scratch paint there for you. So these handles might need some lubrication. But yeah, um, that's it in a nutshell. Comes with a bag. Oh, there's some straps and things. Oh, I wonder if you. Oh, these mean. I wonder if these are original. I'm not sure. Is it possible to strap? <coughs> Maybe that's what these are for. Maybe you strap it up on a tree branch or something and use it like that. <coughs> Is it possible? Possible. Uh, Deal. I'm not sure to read the manual, which I don't have yet, except in digital copy, which I haven't read yet. So there's a bag. So if you're looking at one of these, uh, there you go in a nutshell. This is Military Industrial Museum. Uh, subscribe and support my sponsors and tune in.